Hey, hey party people. Good morning or night, depending on what time it is, afternoon, whatever. Um, in this very short tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about the array modifier and curves. Um, I had made a scene uh, a while back using Mike Pan's car, and I just wanted a sort of a, uh, a scene that was very simple, very easy, and uh, could replace my current wallpaper. So um, that's what I ended up doing, and I did it all using array modifiers and curves and stuff like that. So um, the idea behind it was that there would be a, a, um, a car that would come down this direction. Okay, so I have the camera sitting here or whatever, and the car just came down, came around a bend. Okay, so that was the entire idea behind the whole scene. So uh, the way that I went about doing that was first adding a plane and uh, just scaling it down so it was the ground. So scale it up, scale like a Y, okay? And then what I did was I added in a uh, another little piece there and then extruded that up, okay? So then we have, we have our curve, we have our, uh, our curve basically, okay? So if we go in here and uh, shift S, Cursor. There we go. Okay, and uh, so we have our, uh, our little guy there, and then um, all we have to do, right, is we add our array modifier to it. <coughs> if we can get there, array modifier, array modifier. All right, array. But we can see that that really doesn't do anything. Uh, that's probably the way we want it to be, but it doesn't. It just goes straight, right? And that's that's not very interesting. So what you can do with this array modifier is you can add a um, curve, and we'll make it a the Bezier curve. Now we'll make it a path and rotate like that. We go into edit mode and move that up. Again, the origins being the same is extremely important in this, uh, but we won't worry about that too much. So then you move that down there, and then what you can do is say, okay, array modifier. We have all these other things in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit the curve. Right, and we're going to fit the NURBS path. And you can see that, okay, so all this has done is it's made it longer, right? But it hasn't really curved around any. So we add in yet another modifier for the curve, and then we say, okay, since we are now as long as this curve is, we want to then say, follow it. And that's as simple as that is. So if I were to go in and edit this, you'll see that this will follow everywhere all the time no matter what so uh, we can even go we can even do things like this pretty cool right thank you blender for making that so awesome okay again simply because we had a very small one there okay so right and then uh, we can even do things like this so I go back into edit mode and let's say I want to add a nice long wall up here so I'll just extrude that and move it on the z-axis and then all right so we have our little um right we have our uh, our road there right and so get that there get that there all right and pop it up okay so we have our road right it's uh somewhat interesting looking uh the other thing you can do with that is uh you can go back into edit mode and let's say we want to make a guardrail for it so again we can just pull that down pull that down okay and then uh, add in two cuts Take each of those, move them out, right. and do the same thing again right there. Just move that down, move that down. All right, put that there. Okay, and just grab these two again, pull them out. And we have our little guardrail there. Okay, so again, going back in tab mode, you can see, ah, oh, perfect. All right, so, so we have this issue here about, um, oops, about smoothing this thing out so it will actually look correct. So if I hit the smooth button right now you can see every single one of these is very very odd looking because it's deformed in a way that doesn't make sense to Blender. Okay, But what we can do is we can merge all of these together and by merging them together it says okay if you find a duplicate vertice or where one ends I would like you to put it together. And that's exactly what it does. Okay, so uh, I added a subsurf on here. You can see every time I change one of these and make it a little bit tighter, you can see it flicker. It's because it's trying to calculate the merge. Okay, so again, very important. You can sort of see how that works, right? But again, we don't really want to put a subsurf on here. The uh, the um 
the curve and the smooth are, are definitely more than enough. So, all right, so we have that. We have our little turn here. Uh, I think I'm gonna make that a little bit longer. So again, grab the curve and extrude that, ooh, extrude that out. And again, it's gonna follow the curve no matter what, so you can really do some bizarro stuff, but uh, we'll just make it do that, make it do that. Okay, so then whenever we look at this, okay, we have our, our turn there. I think that turn's a little too severe, so we can flatten that out a little bit. Okay, much better, okay? And uh, obviously we want that to go down as well, so extrude that. All right, cool. All right, so we have our crazy mountain thing. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is, right, so you could put like an HDRI and just sort of leave that out there and be fine. But in my case, I wanted to have a pillar, okay? So the way that I went about doing that is all you have to do is duplicate this and move it over, okay? And then add whatever object you're doing. So in my case, I'll do a cube and I will scale it in and put it down, scale it up, scale that in. All right, so there's our, our very generic pillar, and we will scale that down like that. And then what we want to do here, right, whenever we need to align something, their origin points need to be the same. So we want to shift S and make the uh, selection, the cursor to the selected. And we'll select that and shift S and then selection to cursor, okay? And then whenever we add the array modifier with our fit curve of nervous path one, and then we add in our curve of nervous path one. Whoop, missed it, nervous path one. You can see that, oh no, what happened? Well, it's because we didn't set the right X on there. So you can see there that we now have that correct one. But you can see that, well, um, that's not really pillars, right? They're just sort of stuck together. So by increasing the amount of space between them, we can affect um, how, how many actually show up there. So if we uh, grab both of these again and move them up and then check out in terms of where they are in the scene um, or control three uh, that should be okay all right so and then uh, just in order so we don't have to deal with this too much uh, get the rest of them and just push them down okay so now we have our pillars that are working alongside the road so then we just need to move these over so that they fit a little bit better on the road and that should be okay Right, yes, okay, so you can take a look at that again and say, okay, our, our pillars are now part of the road as well. Um, I hope this was useful. Uh, obviously, let me know, and thanks.